Good day. Welcome back to our second episode on the counting principle. In the first episode, we discuss the meaning of the counting principle. In this episode and the following one, we're going to look at repetition or no repetition. First of all, we're going to discuss with repetition. So let's look at an example to see what this means. In this example, you will see it says that how many four-letter passwords are possible if each letter must come from the alphabet. Any letter may be used any number of times. And this is the crucial part in this problem. Because this means it is with repetition. It means those letters may repeat. They may be there more than once. So let's now look at the solution to this problem. As you can see, it gives us four letter passwords. So that means we're going to draw our four lines to represent the positions of the four letters. The letters that we are allowed to use are the letters from the alphabet. Then we can use them any number of times. Now, as you are aware, there are 26 letters in the alphabet. So that means this position, there are 26 possibilities. In this particular example, it says that we can use the letters any number of times. So that means the second position will also be 26. The third position will also be 26 and the last position also 26. So why is this the case? Because the letters may repeat, you can use them any number of times. It means if the first letter, for instance, is an H, we can use an H again. And that is why it is 26 again. And you will notice in our next episode, we're going to look at without repetition, and you will see then the difference. So what is our answer? To get our answer, you will remember that we... We multiply all these, which will give us 26 to the exponent of 4. And please use your calculator to solve this. It's quite a big answer. And the answer is 456976. Six. It's very important that in exams, you must please give the final answer. Let's now look at another example on with repetition. Let's read this example. How many six letter words? And remember these uh, are not always words that make sense. Um, so we can call it word combinations, but uh, for short, just words. How many six letter words can be formed by using the letters from the word action. So now the difference between this one and the previous example is that we can't use all letters. We can only use the letters from the word action. Now they say to us, any letter may be used any number of times. So that means it's worth repetition again. The letters may repeat. Let's look at the solution. We, we're going to draw six lines. And the reason for that is that we want six letter words. So there are six tasks that we need to do. We use the letters from the word action. There are six of them. And we can use them any number of times. So the first position of these, of these words 
there are six possibilities because we can use any one of those six letters in position one. When we get to position two, we can use any one of those letters again because they may repeat. So even if we use the A in the first position, we can use it in the second position as well. So that means there are six possibilities again. And for the third position, six. For the fourth, as well as the fifth, and position number six. Now the counting principles say, once we know how many ways we can do every position, we multiply to find the total number of six-letter words, which will give us six to the exponent of six. Again, use your calculator because it's quite a big answer. And the answer is four, six, six, five, six. And I say again, please remember that you need in the exam, you must write this final answer. This is our discussion on with repetition. In our next episode, we're going to look at without repetition.